No coffee but water for my guests this, uh, this morning. Thank you. Rob Ferber from Entertainment Arts and Erik Bolks from the Netherlands. Yeah, guess why he is here, Rob. <laughs> it's the it. day. This is it. This is the big one. Yeah, we've been waiting for this for a long time. Duncan Lawrence, uh, Eric, how are your nerves? Well, I, I'm quite like Duncan himself. Let the critics come and uh, yeah. just see what uh, people think of it. Because he knows people will be a little disappointed because of the high uh, race. So, yeah. Expectations. The expectations are so high. And he, he feels pressure, but he is quite confident uh, on his own act. And he says, okay, the lasers are there, everything is there. We thought it all through. So he's kind of secure, but has a good tension. So I'm very curious to see if he delivers. What makes the Netherlands at this point, Rob, the, 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 the biggest favorite in, in the pack? Um, I think it's the outstanding song of the year. Um, the, the Betfair market tells you that. Um, it's, it's the favorite as things stand. But obviously because it's so understated, uh, we have question marks over the staging. You know, can they uh, create that connection with the audience? Um, I think it only needs to be competent for the Netherlands to still justify favoritism. And what do you mean by competent? I just want them to create that intimacy that the song needs. Um, it probably only needs to be quite simplistic, um, using lighting and maybe some, some intimate uh, camera work. What, uh, what are your f thoughts about how it's going to look? They have Hans Pannenkoek again, the guy who did yeah. the Common Linnet staging, but also, let's be honest, did, did some acts, staged some acts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't such a big success. Well, probably we won't see his face in the beginning because that's always with Pannenkoek. I'm not a fan of that, but uh, that's a trick he always does. Um, I hope he has put pressure on it to have only close-ups instead of all those wide shots we get to see of the, the, the stage because that will then the intimacy will be lost. It should be very close up and personal. I'm from the Netherlands as well, but I'm still I'm going to ask you, Eric, what's the vibe currently in your nation now that they are the top favorite for the first since like uh, uh, 98 or 89, I mean, <laughs> even longer. Whatever, <laughs> it took long, long, long ago. It took a long time, yeah. Well, the vibe is like we're gonna win the world championship of soccer we always think that and now everybody thinks we're gonna win but I'm not that sure because there are some big competitors we saw Sweden yesterday of course and uh, Russia today yeah Sergei Lazarev your thoughts Rob of course yeah um, this is the interesting one for me because uh, we're assuming that they're gonna work the magic with the uh, with the staging uh, the way Russia can and I'm expecting some some clever visuals to build the drama um, I don't know exactly what they're going to be incorporating but um, I think if they pull it off we might see a market move uh, in favor of Russia and it, it may shorten apart from those uh, two of course we're looking ahead to Russia at 12 o'clock Israeli time and the Netherlands will be up at three this afternoon uh, a local time here uh, apart from from these two which which are the nations that you're most curious to see and how the market will react I'm interested in North Macedonia. Um, it's about time they make it. Two, right, yeah, six consecutive NQs. Um, and from what I've seen of Tamara, I think she's a fantastic live vocalist. Um, I think she's very uh, beautiful as well, sort of has very sort of soft feminine looks, which I think um, make her likable, potentially. And I think, again, they just really need to focus on, on her and the song. I, I don't want a, a busy stage for that. I don't think it requires that. I think they've got some Swedish um, staging people involved. So fingers crossed for something that's uh, competent. And Malta, what about them? Because there's interesting stuff every year with, with Malta and the betting market. Absolutely, yeah. Um, Malta's an interesting one. Um, I'm yet to be convinced by Michaela in terms of uh, performing an up-tempo song. I, I don't know if she's got the charisma or the, or the stagecraft to, to pull that off. We've seen her with ballads and she's, she's okay. Um, but, you know, how are they going to stage it? Um, you know, they might, they might overdo it, is, is, is my initial feel. But, you know, you have to have an open mind. Let's see what they do.
And Eric, since it was such a success yesterday, this question, what will be your surprise of the day? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm Definitely so no Moldova, <laughs> definitely a Moldova. <laughs> okay, well then I would say Azerbaijan, uh, because we don't know nothing about it. Uh, the clip is very beautiful, but I am very curious if they can keep the tension for three minutes long, because the song is quite repetitive. So that will be the, another one I'm looking forward to, to see what they have come up with, be, because they have... Definitely, definitely silent. So there, there might be some surprises, just like Russia. They are so silent, they want to shock today, and then they will rise in the, in, in, in the odds or go down. Cool. Enjoy your day, the both of you. Um, and you can uh, tune in to ecdaily.com, of course, and uh, follow all the rehearsals and all the news live from Tel Aviv.